All right, one of the building blocks for our immune system is vitamin D, something that we have in abundance here in Florida. But there are some small studies that show that a lack of vitamin D could influence the severity of coronavirus if you do get it. And 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean has more on why vitamin D is so important. Jenny, good morning. Good morning, Rob. You know, these early studies are really piquing the interest of healthcare professionals. There's one particular study out of University of Chicago Medicine that is showing a link between a vitamin D deficiency and that person becoming more likely to get coronavirus. And this could also partly explain why we're seeing such a higher incidence of the virus in minority communities, because they are much more likely to have a vitamin D deficiency. It's estimated that 40% of all adults in the U.S. have a vitamin D deficiency, but in minority communities, that number is much higher. So with these patients who are low in vitamin D, which tend to be African-Americans, about 80%, and Latinos tend to be about 70%, that maybe being low in vitamin D is predisposing them to the high mortality that we're seeing with, um, with um, coronavirus in the community. And according to Dr. Ken Redcross, this is creating a perfect storm for a virus that preys on an already weakened immune system. The heart disease, lung disease, and diabetes, all three tend to run rampant in the African-American community. Dr. Red Cross is encouraging everyone to make sure they're getting enough vitamin D because it's proven to help fight off all kinds of illnesses. It's not only about the coronavirus. We know that with other viruses such as influenza um, and upper respiratory infections, which tend to be regular coronavirus, echovirus, rhino, those are the typical viruses that we get that, yeah, that vitamin D can be important for those as well. Now, at this point, the early studies on uh Vitamin D and how it correlates to COVID-19, like I said, are still very early. Researchers say much more needs to be done, but the results right now are very promising and they're gonna start looking into that connection more. So if you're concerned that you might be low in vitamin D, here's what you do. You talk to your doctor, they can test your levels. You can also order a home kit to check your levels with a little finger prick. However, you do want to talk to your doctor before you start any sort of supplement into your diet. So make sure you talk to your doctor about whether you could be uh, lower in vitamin D, Rob. Yeah, that's a good call, Jenny. Uh, according to the CDC, several underlying medical conditions make you at an increased risk of severe battles with coronavirus if you do get the virus. Uh, kidney disease, cancer, obesity, serious heart conditions can lead to more severe symptoms at any age. The CDC says if you have moderate to severe asthma, hypertension, high blood pressure or are pregnant or have neurological conditions, you might be at an increased risk. And children who have neurological, genetic, metabolic conditions or who have congenial heart disease might also be at an increased risk. Of course, these are just some of the 20 medical conditions on the CDC list, and we've got a complete list on Jenny's story on our website, 10 Tampa Bay.